Hi, I welcome you to my channel, uh, The Outlier. In today's presentation, we'll be looking at how to construct a bar chart uh, using the CARS dataset. Now, uh, in SAS libraries, uh, I'm using a CARS dataset. There are many libraries here, but uh, I am uh, using the library known as uh, SAS Help. SAS Help has many uh, uh, built-in dataset. As I told you, there is a dataset which is known as CARS dataset. So I will be using this particular data set to show you a bar chart. Now there are a lot of numeric variables uh, like uh, cylinders, you have uh, engine size, you have horsepower, invoice, length, you have mileage per gallon in city, uh, in highway as well. You have got other categorical variables like drivetrain, you have make, you have origin, you have type. All these are categorical variables which can be used in the x-axis. Now to construct a bar chart, there's a very simple command that you can give, which is known as proc sgplot. You have to type proc sgplot, specify the data set name. The data set name is cars data set. So let me just drag this and drop it here. So this is the data set that I'll be working in. In the next line, what I can uh, do is uh, I can uh, request for a bar, uh, vertical bar chart. I'll specify the variable name as type because this is the categorical variable that I want in the uh, x axis. And insofar as the y axis is concerned, I'll have to specify the response option. And within response, you can just uh, include the variable mileage per gallon. Let me scroll down. There is a variable called as mileage per gallon. You can just drag and drop this variable mileage per gallon. You need to do one more thing, and that is specify the statistic. As you can see here, uh, statistic, uh, it comes with many different options. You can specify frequency, mean, median, and percentage. So I will choose the option statistic, and I will say mean. And finally type the run statement. Sorry about that. So this is the run statement. So this, is, uh, this will uh, construct a vertical bar chart with the uh, type of the vehicle in the x-axis and the average of uh, mileage per gallon will be plotted in the uh, in the y-axis let me execute this code what you see is a very very interesting uh, bar chart in the horizontal axis what you see is the different types of uh, cars that you have like hybrid suv sedan sports uh, truck and wagon and on the y-axis you can see here what is the mileage that it is giving is being plotted the very first bar right the first bar corresponds to the average mileage for hybrid uh, which is the highest out of all the types of vehicles it is crossing uh, it, uh, 50 uh, miles per gallon when you look at some of the other uh, uh, car types like uh, suv sedan so on and so forth uh, they are barely uh, 20 uh, uh, mileage per gallon they're giving a mileage uh, of uh, barely 20, right? Uh, when it uh, comes to uh, hybrid, it's almost uh, double. In fact, it's more than double as compared to the rest of the vehicles. So this is very, very interesting. There is no other vehicle which can uh, match the hybrid type when it comes to mileage per gallon in city. Now, it will be very, very interesting if I change this Let me just uh, copy the entire uh, block of code. And instead of MPG per city, let me use the variable mileage per gallon in highway. Do we see the same trend? Do we see the same pattern? Let me execute this graph. Yes, we. Uh, see the same uh, graph even when it comes to mileage in the highways uh, hybrid uh, tops the list all of the vehicles uh, are not uh, all the remaining vehicles that is suv sedan sports truck and wagon they are nowhere uh, near the hybrid type right now uh, what you can do is if uh, you have too many groups if you have too many uh, categories uh, there's always a very interesting uh, way of uh, uh, showing the uh, bar plot plot and that is uh, from a vertical uh, bar plot you can always switch to a horizontal uh, bar plot and the way to do this is from v bar command you have to change it to uh, h bar command right so this will flip the entire bar chart
so uh, you can see here uh, in the category axis i've got the different categories and i've got the different mileage per uh, uh, gallon right this has flipped uh, the entire uh, chart uh, so you can uh, easily from a vertical bar chart you can move on to a horizontal bar chart with this simple command so this is a very very simple and easy uh, way of running a bar uh, plot using the uh, sg plot i uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, uh, for uh, spending time uh, looking at this uh, video i request you to subscribe to my channel and i request you to hit on the like uh, button thank you very much i'll see you in my next uh, video